Damon here! What's going on, Guardians? Just kidding, I was creepy and weird. What's going on, everybody? It's Rifle here. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get into the Seraphim Vault. <laughs> yep, you heard that right. The Seraphim Vault. It hasn't even came out yet, guys. And I'm going to be showing you all how to get into it. So you guys can see what we will be seeing in the future. First thing you want to do is head to Patrol on Earth. Once at Patrol, you want to take the route that I take leading to the Forgotten Shores. Once you have gotten to the Forgotten Shore, where all the shipwrecks are at, you are extremely close. You just want to head to the backside against this mountain. Once you get to this mountain, there will be a rock that you want to jump on here, and you want to whip out your ghost looking toward the ocean. But do not spawn your sparrow yet. Once you get your ghost out, just turn around and look against this wall, and then summon your sparrow. Your sparrow should get stuck into the mountainside. You then just want to push like you're having a baby, which I know most of us are males here, so I know no one's not having a baby, so that was a bad fucking example. I don't even know why I said that. You just want to push through this mountainside. You will finally pop out on the other side, and you'll get to walk on water if you get out of your sparrow down here. It's awesome. And it's really cool to show off to other people because you're like, whoa, what in the hell? How in the heck did you figure this out? And that's when you just say, well, I'm just a badass because you feel awesome doing this glitch. I don't know why. I don't know why, but at least I know I felt awesome doing this glitch. It might be because I'm a huge game geek, but I don't know. It's just me. I felt awesome doing it. Once you get to this other side, you want to head over toward this area. There will be a dead ghost here that you can revive. I know, weird, right? How you actually get to this dead ghost is at the Forgotten Shore, one of the ships you can enter inside, and it'll lead you down toward this dead ghost. You want to be careful at this next part of the glitch, because if you're not careful enough, you can glitch right back inside the map. So be careful not to jump inside the walls toward the actual level. Okay, now for the next part of this glitch. From the dead ghost, you want to hop up on this platform right here, and then hop on over to this platform. This is where you want to hit a loading screen at to render like you are inside the level. Because right now we are outside of the level. So you want to jump on this platform and make sure you are hitting a loading screen. Because that's the only way you're going to be able to continue this glitch. As you can see my friend Monkey has not hit the loading screen yet. And he is still outside of the level completely. And I can't see him. He's like, he is invisible to me. The only way I can see him is once he hits the loading screen. Once you've hit that loading screen, you will render the next part where you have to go. It's like you're back inside the level now, but you're not. You're not at all. If that, I, I can't, I don't know how to make sense out of this, but just make sure you hit that loading screen. And then from here, just take this route that I take. We are going to be doing some hardcore parkour.
alright, alright, when you finally get it past the hardcore parkouring, if you just take the route I take, you should end up at this platform that I am on right now. If everything goes to plan. This is where we're going to have to take a huge drop, kind of like the huge drop on the Vault of Glass. And if you mess up your jump and you die while falling, you will spawn right back up at the top. So it's not like it's the end of the glitch if you die. So don't freak out when jumping down here. Have some fun. Just letting you guys know. You'll just have to retry the drop. Once you get down here, this is where a fire team member is going to be a necessity. What you're going to want to do is have your fire team quit out first. It doesn't matter what order you're going in. I'm just saying it how I did it. Once the member has quit out, re-invite that person back. And then once they return, they'll spawn in the vault. So how you'll get to spawn in the vault, I'm just pretending you are the fire team leader. You want to promote someone else that has rejoined the game already, and then quit out and rejoin. When you rejoin, you'll be inside the Seraphim Vault. I'm going to go ahead and show you around inside the vault. There's actually some pretty awesome features that we now get to have an early glimpse at. All right, to start this off, I'm going to head to the beginning of the vault. And as you can see, once you get to the beginning, it's called Bunker RAS2, Old Russia Earth. So it looks like we're going to be traveling through that before we hit the vault. And on the other side, at the very beginning, there were some enemies behind the door. So we decided to figure out what they were, and we lured them toward the door, and we figured out they're actually Hive Knights. That could be a hint at what kind of boss we will be fighting in this vault. Then again, who knows? Who knows? No one knows. Besides Bungie. But anyways, from the beginning, you can actually jump down here. I don't know, it's a pretty cool area to go to across this bridge and look at the features like just look at everything all the aesthetics in this I don't know what it is I feel like I'm in like a giant space station of some sort also something interesting Seraphim is actually an angelic being so that could also be another hint of what the vault boss will be I don't know put the two and two together hive plus an angelic being maybe some kind of like giant wizard I don't know I'm just throwing out guesses and also, here's something else that's pretty crazy. You can find a dead ghost that you can revive back here. I thought that was pretty freaking crazy. And it said I got a new Grimoire card acquired on Bungie.net. I still have yet to check that out, but it's pretty awesome. I wonder if I get to like take a sneak peek at some of the enemies or, or what this place is about. Like, more about this place. Once I pick up that dead ghost, who knows. But as you can see down here in this oblivion... There's no way back up. We had to kill ourselves. Or if you don't have anything to kill yourself, you can just rejoin. Either or. But this next area I'm about to show you is what I actually think will be the boss fight. Because in this area, it looks as if this is like a safe zone. And then it looks like you're about to be preparing for a fight because you have to head up these flight of stairs. And then you just see this giant window that looks into this room. And in this room, this area looks as if you would fight a boss at, doesn't it? And in the very center, it looks as if it opens up, like the center opens up. And on top of the room, there is a giant dome. Not sure if that's going to be used for something, or it's just looks for the room. Maybe in the center that we see, that looks as if it opens up, is a giant drop down to another area. Once again, I'm just throwing out crazy guesses to kind of open up our mind of what we might be experiencing. If you guys have any suggestions, please be sure to share them in the comments. I would love to hear your guys' theories and ideas of what might be coming soon. But that's about wrapping up this glitch. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and this glitch. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, please remember to leave a simple like. It helps out a lot and it's highly appreciated from me because you have no idea what one single like does to a video. And for those of you that do, and are liking my videos, I thank you very much. And for those of you that don't know and are still liking my videos, I thank you very much. And also, if you haven't, please be sure to subscribe for more Destiny's tips, tricks, secrets, easter eggs, glitches, news, whatever I find out, I'll be throwing out at you guys. But I'm out of here though. Thanks everyone for watching and most importantly, thank you guys for your time. Peace.
What's going on everybody, it's Rifle here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to kill Nexus on the weekly Nightfall Strike. Which if you can kill him on this strike, you can kill him on any other difficulty. 